I right, called Puin Piso here. I want to give my YouTuber friends peace of my mind. What's in my brain? Well, I know I'm an evolved, mutated primate, full of bacteria, and full of shit. But what is it? We are all full of shit, correct? We are proud of the fuck. You know, between our parents, you know, fathers, parents, all animals do that. And they create as a reward the orgasm. It happens everywhere. Positive and negative colliding great in life. Even some insects you know, the males sacrifice themselves. Have you seen the praying mantis? That actually he goes after the female, and the spiders do too. You know, pluck the right strings to make the right signals. And the uh, female spider goes into a trance and allows the male to go over there and copulate and receive the orgasmic pleasures like the prey mantis does. But you know what the prey mantis does? Interesting because actually <laughs> the male pumps his sperm while the female devours his head. Nutritious for the offspring. Well, we do the same thing. You know, in many cases, we go after girls that reject us. And they are horrendous. They steal money. They plunge us into ruin. But they have a nice vagina. And they have all these pheromones, all these smells that drive us nuts. Because we want to pass our genes. That's actually the purpose intended in the planet. There's no God. We create the God with the brain. Because see, what happened is that we realize that uh, we're declining. We get old. We suffer disease. We cannot understand the planet, how it works, and the universe. Anything. So we invent God. It's a kind of a cop out. It's a lazy way of explaining things, you know. We cannot explain something in science. And we study science and we are we really hit and our parents have been Christ psychotic or Islam psychotics of from any other religious uh, psychosis. Uh, then of course there's one answer. God did it. The intelligent designer. Everything was so perfect. But the retarded people that believe in God don't understand that nothing is perfect. <laughs> Intelligent designer creating on us males tits. We don't need it. What are we doing with nipples? So uh, the believing God is a psychosis. It's actually a very ignorant type of a concept. But people that are extremely ignorant, they have delusions, they have a problem with their brains, and they cannot cope with the reality of life and the fact that they're going to get old uh, their penis crisis is not going to resurrect like it used to because it happens to all of us my friends we have wrinkles we got wet hair we're going like this we have arthritis or we can hardly walk and every time we're trying to read something like that when I'm 90 years old I'm trying to move something Everything hurts. <laughs> Our bodies are falling apart and they're full of bacteria, viruses, and shit. And we do stink. Our skin, everything is bacteria. Everything. This is the life after this that, that we will have. But we have to be happy that we have our moment, our instance, a nanosecond in time. We come and go. 
we exist, we experience, we enjoy this little moment in time, and then we die. We cease to exist. Nothing wrong with that. But the stupid people that believe in God, they want more. They, they have a psychosis that makes them think that they're going to love life after death. Because they are infected by the parents, by the priests, by the other retarded people that are completely deluded or schizophrenic. Because, you know, religious beliefs are a form of a schizophrenia, it's a form of a mental illness. It makes people accept um, uh, uh, imaginary friends as if were reality, like when we were young. You know, remember when you believed in Santa Claus? And I did believe in Santa Claus. And baby Jesus that bring me gifts. Oh, communion in the Christian religion because the Hindus and Buddhists and all that, they have different things, different beliefs. And they make them feel happy. The Buddhists, you know, just turning all the drums to the prayer drums because, you know, every time they turn it's like about, you know, a thousand prayers going around. <laughs> oh, that makes them feel good. So, or they climb on their knees, go someplace, and they hurt. Oh, the hurt is for God. It makes them feel good. <laughs> but don't, don't insert your penis cries into some nice little juicy, willing vagina waiting for reproduction because that's a sin, according to many, many religions. Because people are retarded. They don't, they, they don't understand science. So we have to avoid that. If you want to be happy, you have to realize who you are, where we came from. We are nothing but the result of a star that exploded four and a half billion years ago, forming the solar system. We have all the elements in our bodies, and that is a fact, a scientific fact. Act, which eventually, by a series of accidents, like a hole in one, no God, you know, ultimately uh, created by evolution our brains that by accident develop cognition. But what is cognition? Cognition is a psychosis that we have of believing God. Hey, that's the price we have to pay to get off from the trees cognition. We develop all the morality and the cultures and the systems and all the craziness. For instance, if you take, uh, you know, we have this intelligence craziness. Intelligence is like a, it's a psychosis. If you take, let's say you have a bunch of apes yeah, next to a waterfall, probably Victoria Falls in Africa. Let's see you can inject them with a serum that gives them intelligence. It actually makes the brain start thinking in co cognitive terms, you know, and develop their brains. So what happened to one of the apes? When he sees the roar of a waterfall, or hears the roar of a waterfall, and sees the whole scenery, he becomes psychotic. In other words, he would say, wait a minute, there's water. You know, when he was a real true ape, he just hear the roar of the waterfall and he says, well, water, I'm thirsty, I want to drink it. But if you give him cognition, he would say, wait a minute, it's a nice place, water, it's not that water around, I want to start charging other apes to drink the water. And at the same time, you see some apes that are white, oh, wait a minute, that's very different. Those apes are, they're inferior. So you might start persecuting them because they're white pelt. <laughs> then the apes becomes a human. I want to charge three bananas for anybody to drink the water. So we are evolved mutated primates. Let's enjoy life. Death is not that bad. You know what happens when we die? We're being eaten by bacteria. That's our life after death. We've been in our bodies all along. Imagine all these bacteria fucking and reproducing and we are dead <laughs> and they're having a really good orgasm. You have millions of orgasm there. That's life. Enjoy life with a healthy brain. Atheist. Pachet your own.